we will talk about blood coagulation or blood clotting. Now, according to International Commission on Blood Coagulation or Clotting, 13 factors were listed out and we have a list of these 13 factors. They are numbered from 1 to 13. The Roman numbers are given to them and they normally circulate in the blood as inactive molecules or proteins, most of them, and they get activated only when there is any kind of injury or there is any damage to the platelets. So how this activation takes place? Their working is normally like a cascade mechanism that we will see separately. But let us talk about these 13. And after we finish discussing these 13, we would stop off that in some places only 12 factors are mentioned. So how come we have listed 13 and in some places 12 are given? So that we will take up at the end. And as we said, they are given Roman numbers. The first one is fibrinogen. And as you would see, most of them are getting synthesized in the liver. Second is prothrombin. This is also synthesized in liver. The third factor is thromboplastin and it acts as an enzyme which is released from the damage to the platelets. As we just now said that their activity is initiated whenever there is a damage to the blood vessel and the platelets are injured. So this thromboplastin is released from the damaged platelets and then it would act as an enzyme. The fourth factor are calcium ions. They are responsible for activation of thromboplastin. So thromboplastin is going to be an enzyme and calcium ions are going to be the activators of this enzyme that is thromboplastin. The fifth factor is known as labile factor or also known as proacelerin. Sixth factor is acelerin and here we have written that this factor is a hypothetical factor. Hypothetic, uh, hypothetical factor means it's an imaginary factor. It has not been isolated or it has been uh, detected but now the scientists believe that it is a part of some of the other factors and that would change our list to 12. The next factor that is the seventh one is known as stable factor or it is also known as pro-converted. Many a times questions are asked directly by taking the names of these factors or sometimes they would ask which factor is responsible for that. And here we are supposed to know the numbers. So a specific number is given to a specific factor. And that means if they want to ask a stable factor, they can straight away ask that stable factor is which number factor. Or they can ask us which one is the seventh uh, factor, which helps in blood clotting. The eighth one is known as anti-hemophilic factor. And the abbreviation used is AHF, anti hemophilic factor and important thing the deficiency of this factor is responsible for causing hemophilia A. Hemophilia is a condition where the blood clotting is delayed or the clotting time increases and depending upon which factor is responsible for that disease we would call it hemophilia A, B and C. So it is anti-hemophilic factor whose deficiency can result or results into hemophilia A. The ninth factor is known as Christmas factor or also known as plasma thromboplastin component. This is the abbreviation which is used. Its deficiency leads to again hemophilia and this type of hemophilia is known as hemophilia B. Now the questions which can be asked on this, that hemophilia A is caused due to deficiency and our options could be anti-hemophilic, Christmas factor or any other. So here they are asking us the questions based on the names or the same question could be 
Hemophilia A is caused due to deficiency of factor 8, 9, 10, 11 and so on. So now we need to know that the deficiency that is hemophilia A is deficiency of anti-hemophilic factor and the number is 8. So number also is significant as well as the corresponding name. The 10th factor is known as Stewart power factor named after the scientist. And here we have written in most of the cases where they are synthesized. The factor 11 or 11th factor is plasma thromboplastin antecedent. Abbreviation is PTA. And its deficiency leads to hemophilia C. So we know three factors and three types of hemophilia which are caused because of their deficiency. So this is, these are the three which are responsible for three types of hemophilia. Factor 12 is known as Hagman's factor or surface factor. And as the name is given as surface, that is the reason for it, it gets activated when it comes in contact with the skin surface. So everywhere we are talking about that this entire process of clotting gets triggered whenever there is an injury. Let us come to the last factor that is the 13th factor. 13th factor is fibrin stabilizing factor. Because at the end when we see the process of clotting we would see that this fibrinogen would get converted into fibrin. Fibrinogen is a soluble protein. Fibrin is an insoluble protein. So when it gets insoluble, changes into thread-like structures, those structures should be stabilized so that the thrombos or clot formation could take place. And that is why this factor is going to help in stabilizing those fibers of fibrin. So it is known as fibrin stabilizing factor. One more name is given to it. It is called Lackey Lovan factor. It is also released from the blood platelets. So now we know 13, fact, 13 factors. All of them have been given Roman numbers. And as we said in the beginning, in some cases, we find that they talk of that there are 12 factors which are associated with blood clotting. So which is that factor which they are not counting? This is the one which they don't count. Reason one, some group of scientists believe that this is a hypothetical uh, factor. It has not been isolated. Other group of scientists thinks that there is some factor, but it is not working independently. It is working with some other factor. So our list of 13 gets short by one. And that is where they write uh, 12 factors instead of 13. But as we said, according to this International Commission on Blood Coagulation, which was, this list was given to us in 1954, 13 factors have been listed. So we have to remember 13. And one important thing about this hemophilia, that there are three types of hemophilia, hemophilia A, B and C. And when we talk of hemophilia, it is the same condition where the bleed, uh, blood clotting time gets delayed. But if it is getting delayed due to absence of factor 8, it would be hemophilia A. If it is due to 9, then hemophilia B. And if it is due to 11th factors deficiency, then it's going to be hemophilia C. So these are 13 clotting factors and their working starts whenever there is an injury to the platelets. Otherwise, they keep circulating in our blood without causing any change or without any disturbance. This is our natural defense because blood clotting should take place whenever there is an injury so that the bleeding can be stopped. And when it is circulating in our blood vessels, there should not be any clotting because if clot takes place inside the blood vessel, it is going to block the passage of that blood and that is that results into complications. So 13 factors we have seen, they are pretty much short functions and now in the next segment we will talk about the actual clotting procedure. 
we will discuss clasping procedure in two parts one a simpler method and then the actual method where we would see the cascade uh, mechanism in which these 13 factors 